West Jordan police giving some additional details today regarding how they, in working with the U.S. Marshals Service, were finally able to track down and arrest Albert Johnson very early this morning. As you can see from his most recent jail booking mugshot, Mr. Johnson did not give up without a fight. I just know that there was a resistant effort on his part to not go into custody. And, and that is that is what happened. Johnson is the prime suspect in the Saturday morning murders of Tony and Catherine Butterfield. Police say Johnson knew the victims, but they still won't elaborate on exactly what that relationship was. Detectives do say Johnson was in the process of committing a home invasion robbery when he allegedly shot Tony and Catherine to death. Their three children were home at the time. They're now staying with family members. Now, earlier this week on Monday, Johnson's wife, Cena, was arrested for allegedly lying to police regarding what she knew about the murder and for allegedly destroying evidence in this case. Despite those obstacles and setbacks, detectives were able to gather enough information leading them to Northern California. But we did get leads. We did get credible leads that he was there that led us to that area. It was not just a, a random thing where they, you know, they saw him and said, oh, there's there's this guy that Utah's looking for. We, we did develop information that we knew where he was. West Jordan detectives say this took a lot of coordination between them and the U.S. Marshals Service in Stockton, California. And detectives here are already on their way to Stockton, armed with an arrest warrant for Mr. Albert Johnson, charging him with two counts of aggravated murder. Police go on to say they hope that this is some small amount of closure for the Butterfield family and their many friends here in West Jordan.